This AI workflow here can scrape data in bulk for the websites, any website you want. You just provide the XML link of the website and then it will go through each of that to collect all the pages that are available on this XML. And then it will go through each of them, scraping the full data of the website. And then it will go through extracting a specific data or information that you want using AI. In this case, you can extract articles, you can extract menus, you can extract everything, anything you want in a specific website. And then it will save them in a Google Sheet. And then in the end, it will look like this in the Google Sheet where we have website link and then the scrape data in Markdown. This automation workflow is helpful if you want to scrape websites data without any cost because you don't have to pay for any other API or anything. This is all free and it and is free. AI Google Gemini here is free and Google Sheets are also free. So everything is free here. But before starting a disclaimer, uh, please scrape only websites that you have permission to do so. So let's show you how to easily and quickly set up this workflow in your computer. So first you have to download and install locally and it and you can uh, also try their free version that is online that you can run and it and directly on their server. But this is paid after a few uh, period of time. But if you want to do it for free, you can just install this locally into your computer and run uh, the and it and locally. It's very easy and free to do this. I will use Docker. Docker is a container manager that you can just use to create different containers where you can install specific applications on them. And then we'll use this to install and it and so to do that to install Docker, just go to description of this video and download from this link, just click on the version that you have, and you can just install it normally like you do I'm currently on Windows so it's very easy to install then just open docker application and here you have to install and it and and to install that you just have to go to images and you can click on search here and here search for n8n and you'll see this and it and io latest this is the one that you have to uh, download it for me it shows run here because i've already downloaded but uh, for you you just have to click install and download or pull button and then you can click on just to run and then you'll have and it end here on images and then to, to start this uh, image or this container, you just click this uh, triangle here, run. And here on optional settings, you have to make sure to put 5678. This is the path port that works to run in it. And, and then you can just click run. And after you're running, you'll see in containers, you'll see something like this. So running uh, the name of the container and then the image and also the port. If you click here on port, it will go and open localhost here. And this is n it n For me, it, I'm currently logged in, but for you, it will show you to create a new account. You can create just create a free account with your uh, email, and then it will show you like this. So here we have to create a new automation workflow. But uh, you, to do that, you can just click on create new workflow and you can name it here, scraper. And you have you can create this here from the beginning if you want or if you have experience on any end. But if you don't want to, you can just go to the description of this video and download the workflow that I showed you for free. After you download, you have a file like this, so scraperworkflow.json, and then you have to import this scraper uh, here in this current workflow. So to do that, you just click on these three dots and click on import from file and then choose the file that we download and then click on open. And you immediately will see this automation workflow here onto your uh, own and it end. And before starting or running this, you have to set up everything here. So to set up things, uh, first you have to set up the Google Gemini AI, and I'll show you how to get a free API key from Gemini Studio. So again, in the link in the descriptions, you can find AI uh, Studio, Google AI Studio here. But what you have to do is to go here and create a new uh, API key. So just when you open it and you log in here, you'll see this window, but you can see this button here, get an API key, and then create an API API key. So after copy your API key, just go to Google Gemini chat model, and then you have to create a new account here. For you, it will show create new credentials, and then just paste the API key here and click on save. But I have already done this step, so it will show me here the uh, Google Gemini PAL API account, and then you can choose the model that you want to, to use to run this AI. And for me, 
I think the best version is to run with Google Gemini 2.0 Flash. This is the best version that you can use. And then you are ready with AI. So the next thing is Google Sheet. If you want to save the data in a Google Sheet, you have to give permission to this workflow to run with Google Sheets. So here we have to create a new account uh, and to create a new credentials here, you have to paste client ID and client secret. So to get this client ID and client secret, you have to go to Google Cloud Console. And this is the link for the cloud uh, console. And here you have to enable first the Sheets API. So here in the search box, just search for Sheets and you'll see Google Sheets API. And here you have to click on enable. I have already enabled. So I, after enabling, you can just go to manage. And here you have to create new credentials. So go to credentials and click on create credentials. Make sure to be OAuth client ID and application type should be web application. And this is very important. Authorize your redirects URIs. You have to add URIs. And this URI, you can go back to and it's this one here. So just click on here to copy it, go back and paste this URI and click on create. Then it will show you client ID, client secret here. So you just have to copy the client ID, paste it on this field, copy client secret and paste it on this field. So then click on sign in with Google, choose the account that you want to sign in. And here click on advanced and go to the project and give permission. So this will give permission to and it and to access your files of a Google Sheet. And then you'll see this account connected. And as soon as you do that, you just have to paste or to first you have to create a Google Sheet. So go to Google Sheets. So here in Google Sheets, create a new sheet here. And this is an empty spreadsheet. Just give it a name. And here you have to create two fields. And the first field is going to be URL. And the second column is scrape data. So you can just use these as header of this Google Sheet. And here we have it. So then after doing or creating your spreadsheet, you just copy the link, go back to any end. And here on the document URL, you just have to use this. You just paste the URL here and you paste again the URL on the same field. Make sure to be match columns uh, mode uh, manually. And here you have to add these values and you'll have URL and scrape data here. So now it should be good to work. And to run this workflow, what you have to do is just to click on chat or you can click it to trigger manually. And here you have to paste the XML website of uh, any website. So you have to paste the XML link. So I'll go to my website and I'll have here this tutorial sitemap here and I'll just copy this. This is one of sitemaps of my website and here we have four. So we want to scrape all these uh, four pages from this XML uh, link. We go here to the workflow and just paste it to the chat and we send it. And then as soon as this happens, it will go through this. It will find that we have four URLs to scrape and then it will go to scrape them each by one by one with this uh, automation work with this AI, and then it will save them in a Google Sheet. Okay, so now it's finished. As you can see, it was really fast. If you have a lot more websites or a lot more pages, it will take more time. And if we go to the, to the sheet that we just created here, we have everything here. And the result is saved in Markdown. So I, if I just can copy this Markdown and I go to a Markdown Previewer here, and if I paste it, here is all that it is scraped from this website or this page. You can modify this workflow a lot more further if you have experience on any end. But uh, what you can do with something else is to go to AI agent and modify the prompt. So this prompt is going to just extract the full website data and show it as text in Markdown. But you can show it in different format. You just have to modify the prompt that is being sent to uh, the AI. So this was a video, guys. Hopefully you'll like it because this is all free and you without any cost, you don't have for, to pay for any API. And you can just also create an API with yourself using web hooks on here. Please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more automation workflows and AI uh, type of videos and see you in the next one.